Mother Teresa, Dr. Seuss, Albert Einstein. Is it possible that these enlightened historical figures were total scumbags? That is what we are trying to decide here on Scumbags of History, where we pick through the dirty underwear pile of the lesser known facts about some of the famous people that society has put on a pedestal. We are your hosts, Confirmed Scumbags, Brittany Schmidt. I'm a teen Stewart. We're comedians, not historians, so we're going to get some stuff wrong from time to time. Yeah. Me more than Mateen, yeah. for sure. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so don't use this as a reference on your research paper, and let's get started. I'm talking about scumbags of history. Talking about these people suck ass. They were pieces of shit. They still pieces of shit. Scumbags of history. Scumbags of history. Today we are talking about Thomas Alva Edison. How could he be a scumbag? Turns out the guy that was a pioneer in the field of electricity and animal torture and hardcore no. anti-Semitism. Yeah. <laughs> Stick that in your light socket. No. <laughs> yeah. Father Electricity was an animal torture. This is the Lord of Darkness. And he was an <laughs> anti-Semitic man. Okay. Tell me what do you know about Thomas Edison? Thomas Edison yes. invented a bunch of shit. Yeah. But the only thing I really know is the light bulb. And I still use Edison bulbs in my apartment because they're chic as fuck. Edison bulbs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they're the clear ones that you can like see the. Oh, we're going to we're going to clear that up for you. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of people do think that he invented the light bulb. But. And actually, he did not. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh good. I'm going to get to that. Of course he did it. Yeah. Why would he? Uh, born in 1847, Edison holds over uh, 1,000 patents. So he has actually 1,093 patents, which is a world record. The average is out about one invention every 11 days in his adult life. Jesus. So every 11 days, he had that light bulb off. Do you ever off. feel like an underachiever? <laughs> Look at, I mean, yeah. you are. Because I am. Because like, yeah, I, 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 I haven't invented anything. I have zero patents. At the but t- the back of the day, nothing had been invented yet. So you could invent oh, it. Oh, because it was easier. Left, yeah, it was easier. Yeah, you could invent shit left it right. It was. Yeah. Uh, at the time of his death, an estimated $15 billion of the U.S. economy came from his inventions. Ooh, when did he die? When did Thomas Edison die? 1931. 1931. Yeah. So 15 billion in 1931. But it's probably Yeah, it's probably a lot more today. Yeah. Let's see what that's the 15 billion 1931 in today's inflation. The value of the, the US dollar has lost 95% of its value since 1931. That is fucking insane. It would be I can't even read that number. Is well, that 13 trillion? No, so it's Oh. It's is that billion? 13 billion? No, that's like trillion. That's trillion. 260 oh, okay. trillion dollars. That's what it would be today? Yeah, that's what it would be today. $260 trillion? Yeah, that's insane. Holy shit. Yeah, that's... Holy... That is, so, yeah, $15 billion in 1931. In today's 2023... Oh, wait, no, we're not. We're wrong. We're wrong? We're wrong. <laughs> oh, it's $300 billion. $300 billion. Oh, it's $300 billion. We're fucking okay. stupid. It's $300 billion. $300 billion, $125 Three hundred and twenty-eight thousand four uh, nine hundred and forty-seven at thirty-seven, 37 cents. cents. That's important. <laughs> okay. Okay. So cents. not trillion. We're not trillion. We're fucking, we're fucking idiots. idiots. <laughs> we didn't. We, I don't know we, how much a trillion dollars is. It's too real. much. It's what we owe China. <laughs> <laughs> More than that. So yeah. So he he had a lot of impact on the U.S. economy. Yeah. Uh, he invented things like the uh, phonograph, phonograph, uh, the incandescent lamp, and the first commercial electric light. And he is also the inventor of the uh, Kinograph, which is the early motion picture cam- camera. Uh, he was born in a basic pre-electric world and played a huge role in ushering in the age of electricity. One of his famous quotes is that he wanted to make electricity so cheap that only rich people had candles. That's funny. Yeah. But now I thought about like only rich, like all, yeah. all, 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 rich people always have candles. Yeah. He also has a quote that says genius is one percent inspiration and ninety nine percent perspiration. Yeah. So yeah, so you got to be inspired. Sweat. Get that sweat equity. Uh huh. Yeah, he did not invent the light bulb, like you thought he did. They well, that actually had been around for decades, but un- were unreliable and died quickly. What he did do was improve on the existing design. Okay. Which he also Who stole. Who invented the light bulb? 
it, so many other people. It's been around, it was around for decades, but they never lasted long. It literally says Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. I know that's Google what it, that's what it says. The incandescent light bulb. Okay. But he didn't really invent that. Okay, fine. You know, gonna fight here, here comes it. here comes a Mateen fact, black history. <laughs> fact a black man the invented the light bulb <laughs> by Mateen Stewart. Yeah, he actually stole the invention from uh, Louis Latimer. Okay. Yeah, so that is. <laughs> is that Mateen's black fact of the episode? That's, that is my black fact of the day. You don't always got to have one black fact. Yeah. By Louis Latimer. He and Louis Latimer, um, they made him design it and they made him put it in the initials of Thomas Edison. Damn. It's a filament. So that was the biggest issue with the light bulb. that The filament wasn't burning. So when when light bulbs, not like LEDs, it was how it worked is the electricity would go through a filament. And the filament would, would burn, and that that's what caused. I'm the, blacking like, out because I'm so bored. To uh, <laughs> al- illuminate. Uh, shut up. <laughs> um, what, yeah, he's a, he's a scientist. You know, it's been in my marriage where my ex-husband would get really excited about something and talk to me about it. Yeah. And, like, my and eyes are open, just, but the shades yeah, closed. The, the, the lights went off. <laughs> yeah, I could tell. The lights, the went, lights off. went off, and I started talking about... <laughs> You're like, uh, like, like in my head, it's just like, do, 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 do. I don't know how lights work. You turn on the switch and the yeah. light comes on. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he also is the reason why when you say, oh, the light bulb went off or people have the idea that right. comes from like, here's what we do not know about Thomas Edison. Uh, he, he owned his first telegraph at age 11. He made it. Uh, his first successful invention was for a universal stock printer which electronically communicated stock information from the exchange floors to stockbrokers to investors. Crazy. Like a did, 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 yeah, did, did, yeah. That, that kind of thing. At age 32, he and his team invented a cheap, reliable light bulb that could last 14.5 hours, breaking all records. Can you imagine records. your light bulb's only lasting 14, 14 hours? hours. Yeah. That'd be so annoying. He and his team, like I said, it, was, it wasn't yeah, really yeah, his, yeah. his team. Yeah, yeah. His team led by, like we said, Louis Lattimore, a black man. At one point, he tried to develop talking dials by inserting tiny uh, phonographs in their bodies. He hired the first voice actors to record truly haunting nursery rhymes. He only sold 500 of the expensive dials, which he later called Little Monsters. Uh, and the sound is really creepy. Okay. Like, I, yeah, I mean, we, I, we're going to hearing... play it. We're going to play it for you to hear. So it was these dials that he made that had little voices, but it's, it's, the technology How was awful. How do we awful. have video? Of this? Well, the dolls still exist. Oh, oh my Dolls twinkle God. a little star. So like, it's like. And I'm going to eat your face. <laughs> yeah, that's a no for me, dog. That's like someone screaming from inside of a room, like trapped. Yeah, and the dolls looked very, very ugly and scary. Um, and they only yeah, saw. And he's like appalled. He's like only 500 sold. <laughs> yeah. By the way, that's so many. Yeah. That's so many. Yeah. Literally zero should have sold. Because, I mean, it, it was brand new technology in the 1880s. Yeah, but still. Yeah. Also, who could afford that? I'm sure it was expensive. It was expensive. It was yeah. very expensive. Also, he didn't he didn't go to college. This is all like pure, just talent. Just tinkering. Just tinkering. He was a tinker. Mm-hmm. But Edison famously had the nerdiest feud in the world. Yeah. With inventor Nikola Tesla. Mm-hmm. We've all heard the name Tesla before. Yes. Also, um, my car is named after. Yeah, you do drive. You drive a Tesla. Yeah. The owner of Tesla is Elon Musk. Musk. Also Not considered Elon Monks. Monks. <laughs> Elon Musk. Elon, Elon he's Musk. a South African. Yeah, Elon, who also just stole this from somebody else. Like yeah, Thomas yeah, yeah. Edison stole. He just is an investor. He didn't invent Yeah, he's an inventor. Tesla. He's an investor. Yeah. Um and Thomas was mad at Nikola Tesla because of an investor. So these guys uh had a feud over which kind of electrical system they could use. Edison favored the DC, which is direct current. Okay. electrical system yes. even though he couldn't travel long distances and thus only worked f- uh, for major cities tesla was an ac guy so alternating current which was less expensive and better for traveling long distances okay so for people who don't know 
DC is essentially batteries, and AC is the air conditioning. No, no, <laughs> the things like you plug up. That's what it. it that's what it boils down okay, to. Okay, batteries to plug in. Yeah. So actually, your car is both. When Tesla was working for Edison, Tesla swore he could increase the efficiency of one of Edison's inventions, and Edison promised him fifty thousand um, dollars if he succeeded. Uh, Tesla busted his ass. He he did that ninety nine percent sweat. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. He was going busted his ass, and he actually did it. He actually succeeded. Let and, me guess. Yeah, and Edison was like, Didn't pay him. "Yo, dog, psych." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. "He said psych." He goes, "I was." just joking yeah he's like i was pretty sure you weren't gonna do yeah that. he was like i was just kidding yeah it was a good old american joke yeah and he told tesla goes when you become a full-fledged american you will appreciate this american joke what a fucking dickhead what an asshole and it's not like he didn't have the money no obviously not he, he's worth he had, 15 billion dollars he had the, in he had the money yeah still in actuality the biggest beef wasn't between edison and tesla so Edison got into a beef when I talk about we're talking about investors. It's between him and business mogul uh, George Westinghouse, who wanted to fund Tesla's invention. So Tesla had these great inventions, and George Westinghouse, which is a big family, rich family. Tesla had these inventions. Yeah, Tesla was okay. Tesla had better inventions at the time than okay. than Edison. Than Edison. Yeah. Well, his were there, his were more productive. Yeah, and he had an investor that wanted to invest in the money. Mm-hmm. And Thomas Edison was like, nah, dog, you can't you can't give him this money. Like, I, I have beef with you because my inventions are better and he works for me technically. So get the fuck out of my face. You can't. So like on top of not paying him the money he owed him, he also cock blocked him from, from other getting, investments. Yes, yeah. God, yeah, what yeah. a little gnat. Uh, so in the early 1800s, Edison began uh, what we would call the War of the Currents uh, to stamp out AC for good. So he wanted to. He wanted to get rid of Nikola Tesla and everything. He wanted to get rid of the, the air conditioning. No, I'm just alternating <laughs> currents. Yeah. Uh, so they would have these these beefs, like a, like rat beefs. Yeah. But but current beefs. They called the war current. Cur- beef. Current. You know what I mean. Uh, he began what the Smithsonian Magazine calls a great political, legal, and marketing campaign to ruin Western House. So he went on a what we would call today like a smear campaign. Smear campaign. Yeah. yeah to smear Westinghouse and smear Tesla. A big part of the game consisted of live electrocutions. So they were electrocuting people. No, in which Edison used AC power to murder stray dogs, horses, and cattle. So he would electrocute stray dogs. He would just grab dogs, grab cattle, and just- Why? Because he was trying to prove that AC was dangerous. So in part of his smear campaign, he was like, hey, you guys can't use, you gotta use this DC this AC is out here. Right. It's dangerous. Killing it's too. Strays. It's too dangerous. So he yeah. used strays to kill. He killed dogs, kill horses, kill cattle. And how was he conveying this message? Because we have to think we don't have like the video in a, at in this a public time. forum. So he would go and be like, these "Hear guys, ye, hear yeah, ye! These guys out in the Come streets. see this AC. It's too dangerous, and you got to use my product." Right. right, um, right. Also, Edison uh, very much uh, he lost. The current wars yeah because of course he did because yeah cause everything that we have us, yeah. everything we have now is runs on ac yeah uh <laughs> and this is a this is a fucked up thing about the world and society so like tesla comes up with this whole invention he gets everything but you know he died poor yeah he died poor and he lived the, the rest of his life uh feeding the pigeons outside of the new york public library Wait. yeah well edison cock blocked him left and right from any money yeah he, he promised he, him he, money yeah. he took money from he, him even though his his technology even today is what makes your yeah. car the tesla runs yeah. he never really got what he deserved right. and he, he died a poor man right um so now let's talk about another era, uh, area of edison's fuckery so he did invent the uh kinograph mm-hmm. which is the early invention of the movie camera uh, he patented it in 1891 and founded the country's first film studio. It was called Black Maria in New Jersey. And he started pumping out films like crazy. He would just make films. Uh, but then a group of entrepreneurial Jewish immigrants on New York's Lower East Side started making movies too. Mm. And he did they not were like better. that. Yeah. That, we're going to get to that. Yeah. Edison hated the competition because he, he wanted to demolish everybody. He yeah. wanted to be always be the top banana. Yeah, he yeah. didn't like anybody coming up with any of these ideas. So also he went crazy about the Jews. So 
he he was he was mad that these people were doing this thing to him as far as like being like his competitor but his he was even madder that they were jewish people right. uh the so-called and even matter they were better than him. yes uh the so-called Outlaw filmmakers found success making movies that were sexier and more violent than mm. uh, Thomas Edison's uh, movies. So, what did he do? He went on another smear campaign. Oh, no. uh, Furious that these Jewish uh, profiteers were making money off his sm off this smut, Edison took action. He aligned with other patent owners in the movie industry to create Motion Picture Patterns Company, which they all promised to make films that promoted wholesome christian american values and none of this jewish smut mm. his words not mine yeah um this made it impossible for indie filmmakers and studios to produce films without getting a barrage with uh copyright infringements and lawsuits so he was like trying to make people not make the movies trying to make them go through all this red tape yeah unless you went through them uh one of their companies uh, that they trusted you couldn't really make legal movies but that didn't stop them. Uh, they kept going. And so uh, Edison reportedly hired mobsters, private detectives, to beat up these filmmakers while they were making movies. So they would be making movies. He would hire the mob to come and like take them out. He would shoot up the cameras. He would destroy their cameras. Every Everything had to be made on his film sets mm -hmm. or he would get uh, completely upset. Right. But ironically, Edison's attempt to control the film industry actually led to uh, uh, creative solutions. So you know what happened? What? All these filmmakers, all these film, all these filmmakers, all these filmmakers, all these filmmakers, all these, all these filmmakers that weren't allowed to make movies mm -hmm. in New Jersey and in New York, they they went west. Right. They went west. Came to Hollywood, baby. Yeah, yeah. These filmmakers will form the basis of what we are here for. Yeah. Where we are in Hollywood. Um, so Edison's debauchery was uh, good. It was good for something. Yeah, good enough. Because without hating ass Thomas. Yeah, hating ass Edison and his light bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> He's sticking up his ass. So yeah, so back to his uh, hatred of Jewish people. Uh, Thomas Edison was besties with industrial giant Henry Ford, mm. who's also very anti-Semitic. Yeah. Uh, even taking long summer publicity road trips to promote Ford cars. Uh, Henry Ford promoted uh anti-semitism uh, a lot more loudly mm. than than thomas edison did you know that henry ford provided vehicles for the nazis during the war no i didn't know that yeah yeah wait what no they did no, i henry thought it ford was bw no henry ford did too it was beatles yeah it was henry ford as well they shared a real resentment for uh towards jews what yeah, they sh they shared a real resentment facts. is that in the facts or yeah. do we need to fact check that he literally gave vehicles to the nazis yes what an idiot you what did our country use he provided cars for the nazis did he provide for both sides or just the nazis uh whoever gave him money but he, he okay was so did he provide he didn't provide he wasn't like here's cars he's the nazis paid for the cars ford and gm scrutinized for alleged nazi collaboration like, yes yeah. yeah wow yeah he collaborated with oh, man lots You're, of nazi oh, collaborators yeah the, by a lot the of way. people love those nazis lot people liked the nazis yeah so his mm. resentment for jewish people like this. came towards jewish people working on wall street okay they were like all these jews own all the banks and they're getting all this money edison apparently had some mixed feelings about jews once calling them a remarkable people but lamenting uh their clanning behavior so yeah he was like oh they just they're too clickish right they do he, too much stuff for each yeah. other he left and like I said, Ford was more public about his anti-Semitism, saying in 1923 that Jews are the scavengers of the world. Wherever there is wrong with the country, you'll find Jews on the job there. So he pretty much said if whatever's wrong, it's a Jewish person's problem. Right. Uh, and Edison was more guarded. In a letter drafted in 1911, he wrote, I wish they, the Jews, would all quit making money. <laughs> <laughs> It was That's like what it comes down to with the Jews money. is jealousy. Yeah. Everyone's jealous of the but, Jews. But uh, he crossed it out and did not uh, include it in his final letter. Apparently for fun, he liked sending anecdotic uh, news clippings that Ford would add to his hefty file on the Jewish question. So they're, they spent their whole life hating Jewish people. And I remember I used to work for um, the Henry Ford Museum. Mm. And it's in Dearborn, Michigan. So they have the Henry Ford Museum in Greenfield Village and... When you work for Henry Ford, you have to do an orientation. 
and they talk about all this good stuff, all this good stuff. And it was a thing was like, what do you what do you guys know about Henry Ford? And this little old Jewish lady goes, she hated the Jews and the blacks. And I was like, <laughs> I was like oh, dang. And the lady was like, oh, well, he had his he had his issues with yeah. the, with some people. And that's, noted, you know, but he did give African-Americans jobs. So that's what a lot of people who defend Henry Ford. Yeah. They say that, oh, well, he gave black people jobs. But his whole thing was like he didn't care what you did right. as long as you worked for right. him. So he's a piece of shit. Uh, both men were the eagle to avoid these bankers on Wall Street. So they did whatever they could to avoid the bankers on Wall Street, uh, the Jewish, Jewish people that they hated. So Ford offered Edison his forgivable loans to uh, finance his work on a new battery. So he, would, he bankrolled them. So he didn't have to go to the banks to deal mm. with the Jewish people. Also, Edison was a pretty shitty boss. Employees were constantly on the lookout for jobs that paid better and uh, abused them less. Mm. So he was very That's verbally like abusive. Everyone. Yeah, very verbally abusive, uh, didn't pay for money. And when his workers- Didn't pay for money. Well, he didn't pay them money. Like yeah. his, his his funds weren't comparable he, to he the time. He was a little hoarder with money, obviously. Yeah, he even though he was, he was he was the, yeah. the richest man in America yeah. for the longest period of time. Yeah, was he hot? No, no. I don't know what, I don't, I don't assume so. He's one of those guys that you automatically assume was born old. Yeah, yeah. Because I've never seen a younger picture of him. Well, let's see. Is like he like Benjamin Buttoned? Yeah. Let me see. Thomas Edison. Let's see some pics here. We don't. Do we have? Well, that's a young Thomas Edison. Where's right a there? young Thomas? Oh yeah. Mm, he's not bad looking. No, he's not. I mean, he has a strong jaw. He's got. He's you know what he's got. He's got a little bit of a Nazi look to him. Yeah. He's got a big nose, big honking schnoz, and a strong jaw. Is he German? I don't think so. No. I think he's English. That's a young, young, young one. Okay, he's kind of a daddy. He's not ugly. He's not ugly. He's, he's not a, ugly. He's a to, for dude. 11, 11 patents a week or whatever it was. What <laughs> yeah. was it? Every 11 days Ele every for his 11, adult life. Yeah. He invented something. See, right. Yeah, that's uh, not, like, he's not or stole hideous. It. Yeah. Um, oh, like, what's his name? Just sat at the patent desk and took everything. <laughs> Einstein. Oh, uh, Einstein. <laughs> I just worked at the patent office. And stole he, he worked at the patent office for and two years. And then he was a and his inventor. career took off. <laughs> that's actually a good idea. No, I, that's a great idea, especially actually, back in the day. Yeah. When, uh, oh, it got lost. Yeah. So yeah, he was. He's. You can say he was. A, and he, his workers. Do we know anything about him and his affairs? Like. No. No wife info. No spouse no, nothing, info. Nothing. Nothing about his wife. Was he? Was he straight? I I would assume. Yeah. That he Everyone was. back in the day was yeah, straight until they were. I yeah. pretty. Now I everybody's mean, gay. There's a. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he like had a thing for Nikola Tesla, and like he was just jealous of him. And he yeah. To ride his bones. Tesla was a good looking dude. He was a. Yeah. He had an accent too. Okay. All right. So anyway. Uh, so I guess what's the gripe? He's an anti-Semite and he's an anti-Semite thief and a thief. And he and he treated his people like shit. Right. And he was a he was a mob boss. He was Tony Soprano. Yeah, I, that's kind of gangster though. I don't think that's I don't <laughs> that's, think that's scumbag shit. Yeah, like he's like no. He's, I think he's I think down, there's like a level. He of, stole everybody's shit. He Nik Nikola Tesla died poor. There's a level of sex appeal to being a mob. boss. To being a mob, he was yeah. he was he was the mob boss. Yeah. Um, Tom Foolery, uh, Thomas Foolery, uh, but he is an American icon. Uh, he's one of the people who have that's not has he invented the shit out of everything except the light bulb yes who he stole from he Louis, stole. Louis Latimer uh, a black man black man great inventor Louis <laughs> Latimer look him up if you don't know him more schools named after him uh, than anybody that's not a president of the United States Thomas Edison does yeah yeah because right. that's uh, he's the one keeping the lights on he keeping the, the lights on when I, when I grew up in Detroit we we had to pay Edison it was called yeah, yeah Detroit Edison yeah, there's Edison. That's where I pay out here too. It's Edison. Edison, yeah. yeah. Everything's Edison. He's electric. Electric. Um, electric. That's crazy. So that in his family. Still. It's electric. He wrote that song too. No, I'm yeah. just he didn't write that song. <laughs> also a composer. Yeah, he was a composer. He was a composer, but he was also a scumbag. Not a composer. He was a not composer. a composer, but he is a scumbag. For sure. And at the end of every episode, we give our scumbags a scumbag score. And where would you go? with Thomas Edison on our scumbag score. Okay, so Thomas isn't great. I no. think I think I would like to know a little more about him personally. Like I what, feel like, like what you do 
in your relationship. I, I just am more interested in that kind of scumbaggery. But being a thief and an and electrocuting and, dogs. Is and, like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. He's like, the, dogs like, like the, to what, prove a who point. Who was it? Michael Vick. Michael Vick. It's like the Michael Vick of. But at least those dogs were, were fighting. They were betting on them. But like, yeah, just imagine you're just a dog and like, yeah, just. Oh, yeah. So animal cruelty, anti-Semitism and mob boss, mob boss. I'm not going to say as a scumbag bag thing. I think it's kind of fun. I think it's kind of fun. Thief. Not great. OK, so I'm going to give him like um, an 88, uh, 88. Yeah. OK. I yeah. thought you were going to go lower. No, just because I think that being a mob boss is cool doesn't mean that I don't recognize all the other stuff is atrocious. Yeah, I mean, for me... And also, he's probably spiritually bankrupt. Like, if you're fucking doing mob activities for real... Spiritually bankrupt, but he... His good... But not bankrupt, bankrupt. No, his good... His, he has a lot. Like He has a lot of good. He yeah. did invent the light bulb. He did invent it. He, <laughs> he made it better. Invent, you keep saying that. I mean, but he made it possible. I mean, the internet literally says he invented the yes, light bulb. Yes, but that's how, so. great he, that's how great of a thief he is. Right, okay. So but I mean, his stole. inventions... His inventions do the, does the good outweigh the bad. And for me, I mean, I'm sure he hated black people, but it wasn't. he wasn't... He was more outly anti-Semitic than he was yeah. anti-black, because maybe he was like, "Oh, they <laughs> they can't do anything anyway." So, but there is some good. He started Hollywood without him. Right, there wouldn't be Hollywood. Right, and the byproduct of his hatred created Hollywood, where we are today, and why we do what we do. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go eighty eighty nine. Mm, yeah, yeah, a little a little just... bit higher, but. Do we still stand by? I mean, like, he's are you still a, like you still gonna be like? Yeah. Not, first of all, I was never a fan of Thomas. But Anderson. I mean, like, <laughs> he's hotter than I thought he was. He because because he had the mob boss yeah. tendency. He's got the Tom, mob Tom, boss. Tom, Tom Tom Tom's legacy. I mean, yeah. Every time you cut on the light, you know, you think about him. No, you don't. You don't think about him at all. I've never thought about him in my life. But I mean, like, not directly. Yeah, but without but without, without him without, without, without him stealing shit, shit yeah. from your boy. Someone had to do it from my boy. <laughs> Watch Lewis Latimer, my boy. He is my boy. Yeah. I'll I'll take that, Lewis Latimer. You you're my boy. Um but does the, the good outweigh the bad? For me, I think the good does outweigh the bad. Ooh. Cause Lights. Because lights, yeah. Lights, lights are fucking a big when the electricity goes yeah. out, it is chaos. But also if he if he wasn't such a horrible person in Nikola Tesla, he right. wouldn't like Imagine wouldn't, what they could have accomplished together. if he wasn't yeah, yeah, if he wasn't such a scumbag. But Tesla worked hard because he was he was trying to impress Thomas Edison so much. Yeah. And fifty thousand dollars back then was, was a, a ton lot of money. of money. It's a lot of money now. Um But what would you tell me like Oh yeah, if he didn't kill the animals, if Nikola Tesla didn't die poor, would I rather that than not having lights? Fuck that, you know what I mean? Right, like, right. Some people there's got to be sacrifices. Yeah, you know maybe Louis Latimer wouldn't have had the resources to dogs get stolen. And yeah, Tesla. <laughs> so sometimes some stray dogs got to die. Yeah. So, but I mean, I see he still get eighty nine for me. Was there any time that um, you cheated in like a competition? Oh way? yeah. I mean, not in a competition way, but I cheated my way through school. Yeah. Yeah, I cheated nonstop. Like nonstop. Le I think like, we, we talked about this before, you're cheating in, in school and like inventive ways that we cheated. Yeah, I was always yeah. really good at cheating yeah. and I wasn't going to do the work. So I'm going to, so. so I did, so I, I don't know, this is technically cheating. So I had this art project in, uh, in my school that I went to and, um, it was a we had to do a drawing every week and of course it's like oh i could just do the i could just but then at the end of the semester i had done no drawings yeah so it was a girl that was really good at it and i was like hey how much would you charge me to do all the drawings and she yeah. charged me 50 bucks oh wow yeah and i and it was like at the time that 50 bucks hurt my feelings yeah, I was gonna say that's a lot of money but for... she did all the drawings and like because she was good at it she right. did it for a week right and i turned it in and i got an a in yeah, the class of course. For the semester. Perfect. Um, Love that. But like competition wise, like I've never like sabotaged someone else. Yeah, I have. I've like cheated in board games. I would cheat in board games, and then like if I still didn't win, I would flip the fucking but, table. But but not like you didn't like taint a teammate's 
like t- taint your competition's no. sample or no. talk shit about a comedian so they didn't get a job or anything like no. that. Like, yeah, yeah. Not, not yet. Let's not, not take at, it off not, the table. Not, not yet. I mean, not at the level. I think certain levels of everybody has had that competitive right. spirit in them where they, when you want to get the advantage uh, over someone else. Here's a question for our subscribers. When is the last time that you tried to outdo your nemesis by cheating to get the advantage? You pulled a Thomas at us. <laughs> <laughs> you Tom dogged him. You Tom dogged him. <laughs> well, that's, that's, our our show. that's our show today. Um, if you're enjoying Scumbags of History, prove you're not a scumbag and leave us a five-star Yelp review <laughs> 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 on Apple Podcasts. Okay, shut up. Hey, <laughs> that's our show today. If you're enjoying Scumbags of History, prove you're not a scumbag and leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts or anywhere you're listening. And subscribe now for future episodes. I'm Mateen Stewart. And I'm Brittany Schmidt. See you later, scumbags. Bye.